I am Adrian Smith, your host, and this month I'm talking to FIT students. Entrepreneurs and emerging designers all stem from this campus. And this month we're talking to emerging jewelry designers. Misty Fizel has started her own jewelry collection, Misty, by MWA. Can you just tell us about the story and how you've become a part of the jewelry accessory world? Um, well, I became a, I moved to New York at first to become a fashion journalist, and that's why I was pursuing an education at FIT. And upon interning at Vogue and Paper Magazine... Wait, um, you interned at Vogue? I interned at Vogue. Does the devil really wear Prada? Um, at times. At times. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, um... Prada amongst other labels, right? Yes. Um, so, I, upon these internships, I was sort of, um, advised into making a jewelry line because I constantly wore jewelry that I had been making since I was eight years old. I sort of started making it on the Cape summers in Cape Cod, um, where my grandparents had a condo, and I would make seashells into like pieces. And um, I grew up within the jewelry industry because my grandparents had a series of a chain of stores across New England. They had a fine jewelry line chain. So chain it's kind of it's kind of driven in your blood. It's in your blood to jewelry. Yeah, line. as well. They also had something similar to Claire's that they had like production and everything made just for this chain of stores. So now coming to New York, being immersed in a hub of fashion. How has that both been motivating for you, but also challenging? Um, it's been challenging, I guess, because um, fashion is very much smoke and mirrors, and things aren't always what you expect them to be. But it's been really overall exciting to just be able to be a part of things you've dreamed of experiencing since you were a young girl. Well, talk to us about you know, coming to FIT, everyone is doing internships. You've interned at Vogue, mm -hmm. you've met Alexander Wang, who was a CMBA Vogue. I mean, like, You've had some amazing experiences, and I want I you have. to share that with students because you're still so young and you're only a sophomore, correct? Um, well, I should be a junior. A junior, okay. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. kind of weird. It gets weird here at FIT. But yes. it's about just taking advantage of opportunities and opportunities that you have been able to take advantage of since you've come to New York. I guess the most important thing that I can relate to students is to never, like, be worried about hearing the word no. I mean, that's the worst that you can hear if you... You just have to ask for opportunities. And if you put yourself out there, things will come to you. But if you don't, I mean, there's no way that people know who you are. No. My line started, of course, was through my internship. It started at What Goes Around Comes Around, where the okay. technical designer there was say, was really loved my pieces and was just like, you need to make a line. Talk to us about what you have, what you're, you know, at What Comes Around Goes Around, your boss tells you, start your own accessory line. So you leave and you actually start thinking about it and then you do it? Well, I was there for nine months, so it sort of got rolling because okay. I had two internships at once at one point. So I was... Misty, what are you giving me? You're giving me a lot right now. I'm tired just listening to you. So, um, I, while I was interning at Paper, they pulled it for a shoot, and okay. that was when I realized that, that I really... They pulled your jewelry yeah, for a shoot. Yeah, for a shoot, and that's when I realized that maybe I really should take talent. this advice and just pursue it. I think it. that it's, natu it's a natural talent, right? It's not something because you, I mean, it's something that you are always doing, and you find that with a lot of designers that make it really big, I mean, of course they have a craft and they train, but it's something that's intrinsic in them. Do you feel like it's just something that you love to do with intrinsic? Yeah, it's actually very therapeutic, very relaxing for me, so it's something I love to do. So here we are in the studio. I'm here with Misty, and we are now here seeing your fall 2010 collection, mm -hmm. Misty by MWS Line. So Misty, tell us about the inspiration. As we said outside, you have a very classic antique vintage style going mm -hmm. on. Talk to us about how you carry that over into each collection to make sure that you, and I know that brand is very important to you, mm -hmm. how do you make sure that you carry that over into each collection and build on that and have it grow? Um, well, I, basically I have very constant elements of construction and I kind of change up the styling of them, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, my line, if you, if you start a line, what you start with is always like very different than what you have in two seasons. I mean, if you see any young designer, like Christopher Kane or whatnot, it's from his first collection to what he has now, it's completely progressed. So mm -hmm. I'm sort of just building on what my initial thoughts were on jewelry. And what were your initial thoughts on jewelry? Um, I really love chain, but not in an 80s sort of bound back kind of way. More who do you see? Who do you see wearing your pieces? Who would you, in a perfect world, if you could pick maybe a celebrity mm -hmm. or a model um, or a magazine publication, who do you see your brand fitting in with? I guess like a Zooey Deschanel or someone who's a bit quirky but very classic at the same time. Um, but, I mean, even though the pieces look kind of cohesive as a, a collection, they kind of 
each person can take something from it and make it their own. So, so you're kind of like a one man right now. You are really in the, you're doing everything on your own, which is definitely helping you grow and helping you learn how to be a businesswoman. Yeah. Where do you want to be five years from now? I, I would love to graduate from FIT and still have this and kind of maybe even have it as my full-time job and mm -hmm. not have to go into the, I mean, having Are you taking a set piece classes at FIT or is it just? No. No, so it's, everything is just what you've learned from your grandparents and from experience. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. So um, I would love to pursue this as my full-time career. All right, so let's talk about the fall collection. Yeah. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. I see a little bit of, have like a little nest here with mm -hmm. the, per tell us about the pieces that you've used, more specifically the art, the craft work. Talk to us about that. Well, I mean, while things may look really simple, um, what I really pride my line on is sort of being uh, complex in construction. Um, for instance, these, the ring, every ring band is um, wrapped in copper wire. The entire, all of the wire you see here is copper. Um, so all done by hand. All done by wow. hand. So, how um, much was this, how, what is the retail for this ring? That's forty-five. Forty-five dollars. Um, I also really pride myself on um, using the best materials and. Mm -hmm. Um, for instance, all these buttons are mother of pearl, so they are a real shell, and all the pearls are genuine. And Do you source your pieces from the garment, like any, like from mm -hmm. the jewelry district? And so you utilize New York as a haven to purchase yes. things. Yes, and I'm really inspired the, by the garment district as well. As you can see, a lot of my clasps are um, corsetry, hook and eye, um, and I've incorporated them as a design element now um, that people are really, really love. So. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. I think that the, I think that the the piece is definitely have a strong voice, and, they, and I think in, it's, it's, I think oftentimes for new designers it's very easy to get lost in the clutter, and it's very important to find your voice, and I think that if I was to go to a store, I would be able to recognize this as, this is Misty, this is Misty's line, you know, sometimes right. you go and it just gets lost in the clutter and everything looks the same, but I think mm -hmm. there's definitely a voice here, I love this piece, the ballet, you know, I used to dance, so I'm really loving yeah. that, and how can students get in touch with you if they're interested in finding out more about your jewelry line? Right, um, well right now it's at What Goes Around Comes Around in Soho, um, it's in this vintage and, like, vintage inspired mm -hmm. store, um, and for fall 2010, it will be um, in stores in Philadelphia, Los Angeles, and in Madison, Wisconsin. Well, keep us updated. This yeah. is how it starts. It starts <laughs> in a little room interviewing an <laughs> upcoming and fresh new creative designer, and a couple of years from now, you'll be the next Judith Ripka, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Thank you so much, Misty, for Thank joining you. us in the studio today. This has been Zadrian Smith for another episode of Real Talk with Misty from Misty by MWS. <laughs>